Welcome. This is the Algebra 1 EOC practice test number 3, question number 58. The question says, which expression is closest to 7.085 times 10 to the 25th times 7.02 times 10 to the negative 12th? Before I move forward, I'm going to talk about the order of operations for a second. And it has a reason. It's not just nonsense. First will be parentheses, then exponents, then multiply, divide, or divide, multiply, because they're on the same level and then add subtract that sort of thing. I'll put subtract first because I never put subtract first. I'm going to give it some billing today. Now the reality is there is a multiplication of 7.085 and 7.02 so I can sort of treat it that way. Still did it backwards. Anyway, um, what I'm going to end up doing is multiplying this number times this number and then I'm going to multiply the two terms with exponents together. Now when I multiply numbers uh, that are standard, so constant numbers or coefficients or whatever, 7.085 and 7.02, when I multiply those numbers, numbers with variables, like in the case, or numbers with exponents, like the case of 10 to the 25th and 10 to the negative 12th, the issue there is I can't do that same operation. It's almost like uh, you have to sort of hit it with the first operation that doesn't really affect it and then the one less on the little totem pole of order of operations does. So when I multiply my numbers, the best I can hope for with exponents when I multiply them is just to add them together. So I'm going to get 10 to the 25th times 10 to the negative 12th. I'm not going to multiply 25 times negative 12. I'm just going to sort of, you know, add them together, that sort of thing. So 25 minus 12 is 10 to the 13th. The problem is it's really easy to jump on the bandwagon here that you're going to pick A or B. That's not necessarily what you're going to do because let's just round those 7's seven to 7, 7.085 and 7.09. 7 times 9 is 49, which would be 49.0. Now in scientific notation, and I'll tag this on the back end by the way while I'm here, in scientific notation you want that decimal point behind that first number. So I need to shift the decimal point over to be behind the 4.9, or be behind the 4, be between 4 and 9, which would mean that this number actually increases. So it's times 10 to the 14th. So the answer to this one <coughs> is D. Can you just type it into the calculator? I don't want to be bothered with thinking. Yes. Let's talk about how to do that. I'm just going to erase this stuff. So you just type it in exactly as it says, 7.085 times 10 to the 25th. And it's very important that you put them in parentheses just like they do in the question. It also helps if you click out, if you have a T84, it helps if you click out of your exponents before you start to hit the other parentheses, otherwise it'll raise, it'll be part of the power as well. You just hit enter, and it gives you 4.96 times E. It says E14, that means times 10 to the 14th. So your answer to this one, of course, is just D. But the real issue here is you need to make sure that you make some adjustment for the fact that you don't just pick the 10 to the 13th because you multiply the 7s together. You have to adjust for that scientific notation.